Earlier today we took a look at the hardware of the Nexus 10 and compared it to the Nexus 7 and the Motorola Zoom. Now we want to take a little bit of a deeper look between the sibling rivalry between the brothers Nexi. Just how does the brand new Nexus 10 stack up to its older little brother, the Nexus 7? Let's go take a look. Let's start out by looking at build differences. The Nexus 7, as you might have guessed by its name, is a 7-inch tablet. It's 4.72 inches wide, 7.81 inches tall, and 0.41 inches thick, and it's designed to be held in portrait orientation. The Nexus 10, on the other hand, is 10.39 inches wide, 6.99 inches tall, and only 0.35 inches thick. It's designed to be held in landscape orientation. The Nexus 7 weighs in at just under 12 ounces, whereas the larger Nexus 10 packs on quite a bit of weight, coming in at 21.27 ounces. Both tablets are built extremely well, though many have complained about the cheap plastic feel of the plastic on the back of the Nexus 7. The Nexus 10 has a stripe of the same kind of stippled plastic running across the top, but the rest is made out of an amazingly grippy plastic it's going to help you keep a good grip on it. Both tablets feel solid and well built. Neither device has removable storage nor removable batteries, but the Nexus 10 resurrects the rear facing camera, something that's missing on the Nexus 7. Let's take a look at the display. Adorning the front of the Nexus 10 is a beautiful 10.05 inch display running at 2560 by 1600 with a pixel density of 300 ppi. The Nexus 7 has a 7 inch display which runs at 1280 by 800 with a pixel density of around 216 ppi. Many have complained about the color saturation and sharpness on the Nexus 7. To those who feel this way, buy a Nexus 10. The screen is gorgeous. Let's talk benchmarks and performance. Powering the Nexus 10 is a 1.7 GHz dual core Exynos 5 processor compared to a 1.2 quad core Tegra 3 inside the Nexus 7. These two tablets are proof that more cores don't always equate to faster performance. Though we are comparing Androids to oranges due to different speeds and processor architecture. What? We couldn't say apples here, could we? Anyway, how do they perform? Let's take a look at the benchmarks. Quadrant on the Nexus 7 scores 3583. On the Nexus 10, 4193. And Tutu on the Nexus 7 scores 10473, whereas the Nexus 10 comes in slower at 8817. This, we suspect, is because of the lack of quad-core on the Nexus 10, showing that more cores may be better in some benchmarks. Moving along, SmartBench 2012 on the Nexus 7 scores 3693, whereas the Nexus 10 scores 3285. Moving over to the web browser for a moment, in the Sun Spider benchmark, where lower is better, the Nexus 7 performed at 1680.0 milliseconds, the Nexus 10, 1358.7. Over in Geekbench 2, which might be argued as a more up-to-date and better representative benchmark, the Nexus 7 got 1438, whereas the Nexus 10 got 2454. If you'd like to see a hardware comparison of how the Nexus 10 stacks up against the Nexus 7 and the Motorola Zoom, as we mentioned earlier, we've got a video to handle just that. If you haven't started listening to our podcast yet, make sure you tune in. Every week we talk gadgetry, we talk tech, and we just talk a lot. But you don't want to miss out because it's really entertaining and we hope a little bit informative. Speaking of missing out, you don't want to, so make sure that you subscribe to us over on Twitter. Our official tweet handle is at PocketNowTweets. If you want to follow me, I'm at Joe Levi. If you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. If you've got a question or comment or would just like to join in on the conversation, head over to PocketNow.com. We're a lot more likely to answer and respond to your questions and comments there than we are at the YouTube channel. For Pocket Now, 
showing off cool tablets. I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.